Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Mortal Kombat 1 reaction video! Alright, so just to start off, please forgive me for being kind of a gigantic mess today. Um, I'm in the middle of a pretty bad migraine. Uh, and the lights are not really helping. So, so yeah, I'm not going to be totally with it, uh, up to standard. Um, but I didn't want to wait any longer to react to this. I've been waiting a really long time to get our first glimpse of, uh, Chameleon, the cha Chameleon cameo, uh, coming to Mortal Kombat 1, and of course, to see all of the glorious Quan Chi gameplay, as Quan is our next DLC character coming to MK1, and they just finally did premiere his official gameplay trailer um, at Comic-Con in Brazil just a few minutes ago, so we're gonna check the trailer out together, get to see some Quan Chi, and hopefully get some more details on what Chameleon is gonna play like, I'm excited for her, and probably release date, so let's check out this trailer together. Here we go. Here we go. The hell was that? Put your demons at my I command saw her. and we'll talk. Do you think my hand that weak be <laughs> Oh, there's tentacles. There's tentacles. We got some tentacles already. Ooh, look at Camellia looks so badass too. Quachi looks scary. What? Scary as shit. Alright. Ew. And there's oh that's Melina move! Wait, is that glow? Oh no, and she just did a glaive? While he's doing all these portals? Anyone who draws power from the nether realm is destined to be a god among men. Oh, ball roll! Look at that Molina pose. What is he doing? There's the skull. Air skull! There's the jade moon! I had hoped our this is the part that we saw. Deadly. <laughs> <laughs> All in good time, Shang Tsung. Oh my god. Oh, there's the skeleton! Ah! Look at the nether realm in the background of that portal, it's so cool! Oh, the purple skulls! Oh, did she just like fan lift him? Ah, the Adenian! And through a portal, and there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I'm scared about this fatality. What is this? The stage is looking cool. Wait, 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 wait. You wish to fight me? Not fight. Beat senseless. Random peacemaker preview? <laughs> what? Okay, I was not expecting the peacemaker preview. That was that was a surprise. That was a little surprise there at the end. I was trying to I was actually trying to pause it because it was uh, um it had information on the date, but then we got random John Cena appearance with some peacemaker. So all right, so they're giving us a little teaser at the end of Peacemaker 2, but let me go back because I want to see the date. Purchase preview edition. Okay, blah, blah, blah. December 14th. All right, so we only got like 11 days and then Quan Chi is coming. Wow, his render, he's got like such a scowl. <laughs> oh, chameleon available in January without a specific date. I don't I want to know. I want her sooner rather than later. I know this is a Quan Chi preview, so I should be focused on Quan Chi, but I'm really excited for Chameleon. You know, there's not like... I don't want to be one of those complainy people, um, but there's not like a ton of, of female characters, both in terms of the main roster and the cameos, um, in comparison to male, male, male characters. Sorry, my green brain. Um, 
at least the ratio of them is not particularly even. And then we all know that this combat pack, there was quite a bit of uh, discussion when it was first announced, even though I think the combat pack is amazing and really cool, um, of the fact that all of the main roster characters being added, all six are guys, um, and the majority of the, the cameos were, maybe are not now, I don't know, but were at the time as well. So, so, and again, I think that there's legitimate reasons that they've done this. Um, so I'm not trying to criticize too much and saying I don't want to be too complaining. But I am, this is just all to try to explain why I am so excited about Chameleon being added in the first place. But now also that I've actually seen her and what they have decided to do, and it was kind of what I was hoping that they were going to do, now I'm even more excited for her. So I don't want to wait until January, but I get it. I understand. It's similar to what they did. Um, with Omni-Man and Tremor, where Omni-Man came first, and then a couple weeks later we got Tremor. So I'm assuming it just says available in January because they don't know exactly what date they're going to be able to roll it out due to the whole holiday season uh, coinciding with exactly when he would or she would come out if they were keeping with that same schedule. But even so, Quachi, 11 days, that's really exciting. I wonder if we're going to get a balance patch with him. I want to talk about some of the things we saw here, okay? So first of all, Quachi looks really cool. Like, you guys know that I typically just um, main female characters, and I'm sure that's not going to change. But this is the style of play. This is the sort of character that I would definitely be interested in at least trying out. So I'll probably play around with him a little bit at least um, upon release and see how I feel. Um... His playstyle definitely has some cool stuff that I'm interested in. I'm also curious if he's going to have like a sort of a stance situation in the same way that Shang does, you know, where Shang goes from his young stance versus his old stance and each one has their own specific and different moves uh, that utilize the same inputs. Um, so you have the the ground skulls in old Shang but not in young Shang variation and then the flaming skulls uh, with this, I'm curious if it's the same thing with Quan's uh, regular skulls versus his purple skulls, because we do see that he has um, both air skull and regular skull um, typically, and then when he does the purple skulls, there also is both an air and regular, that they do seem to act differently. And when he... Uh, when he started using the purple skulls, I'm trying to look at it while I'm doing this. Um, that's also when we saw that kind of like nether realm portal up here behind him, that purple portal with like the really cool glimpse of the nether realm, which I also thought was really sick. Um, so I'm wondering if it's a stance switch sort of thing. Um, Cause obviously also when he does the portals, it does that too, right? With the, the purple, but it has more like a green glow behind it. So I'm wondering if it's like a different thing and if that's a stance switch. Um, so I'll be curious to find out more about that. But obviously he has a ton of stuff that's fun for people that love spamming and zoning like myself. Um, besides the skulls, he's got all his crazy tentacle moves with the portals. He's got um, his, his skeletons. He's got the trap. So a lot of uh, classic Quan Chi stuff and turned into kind of a uh, appropriate version for MK1, which I like. So I think he looks sick. Um, I like all the dialogues they showed for him too. So I'm definitely excited to see more of him. Now for Chameleon, who is the one that I am so excited for. So I was guessing and hoping that she was going to have a variety of moves representing different Adenian characters. Um, of course, being that like that Chameleon, that's where that's what that's what the character is kind of about. Um, and it looks like they've kind of done it in a way perhaps similar to Tremor, where Tremor has the three variations that he can rotate through and each one has its own moves. It looks like she has variations that she can rotate through and that they may be Jade, Melina, and Kitana. Um, because we definitely see moves from each of those characters. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's parts in the trailer uh, where we see her coming out and doing... Uh, Melina move and then immediately going into 
Melina's classic uh, win pose afterwards. Um, and then a similar thing when when she comes out and does katana fans, and then afterwards she goes into a katana classic pose. Um, so I'm curious if it's going to be something similar to like with Tremor, where she will have these different variations for each of those characters. Um, and if so, how exactly that's going to work with the calling things. Um, but the interesting thing is we also did see early on um, a mo mo so Molina moves come out that just automatically happened. Like you didn't see Chameleon come out and go into a stance, like into one of the character stances. She just came out flying through the air with Molina size to hit you in the air. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe that's like her, her base is Molina perhaps. And that she just like will automatically come out in certain moves, unless you rotate into the other ones. I don't know, but we'll see. She also has a ball roll, but it looks, it's very MKX style ball roll with the, the you know, the, the flip kick kind of first before she goes into the roll, it seemed like. For Katana, I saw um, fans, you know, her projectile, but then I also saw what looked like a fan NATO, but it, <sighs> It looked like to me like she lifted Quan, not lifting the opponent, but lifted Quan up in the air, which is curious. So I definitely want to see more of a breakdown of exactly what the heck is going on there. And then with Jade, I'm also really curious about that because what we saw was Glow came out and implemented Glow onto Quan, so it became a projectile nullify, which is one of the things that I was absolutely guessing if they were going to do a Deadly moves that there would be Glow. So that doesn't surprise me. But while Quan was like moving around in Glow and, you know, placing up portals and going after Sub-Zero and all this sort of thing, she comes back out and throws an air glaive which catches him almost like almost like uh Serena's knife projectiles do and so then that allows the combo to continue so i'm really curious as to how that works that she comes out and does glaive and then also the projectile thing is that one call and like you put glow up and then it, a few seconds later it comes out automatically always with the glaive or is it like two different calls and it's just that you can do one so quickly after putting up glow or what is that? I really, I need to know more. I need a lot more detailed information on how chameleon works here. I don't know about you guys. Um, and then I also saw, you know, we saw some throws. We saw Jade's a butterfly pull move, which was cool. Um, but I'm wondering if, and when she came out and did that, I think that was a throw. But I'm not totally sure. I'm going to have to go back and watch a lot more. But uh, all right. So I'm going to wrap this up here because I want to edit it and get it up and let you guys um, make your comments and let me know your thoughts as well. And like I said, I'm not feeling that great. So I, I'm just kind of rambling. Um, but I'm really excited for Chameleon. I'm even excited to try out Quan Chi. Um, and I think they did a fantastic job with him. He looks really cool. Um, definitely very big changes from his rudimentary gameplay from story mode um, when the game was released, which is completely different, um, which doesn't surprise me and also tells me that Ermac is going to be completely different too when he comes out. So, And they threw in some John Cena at the end. <laughs> but all right, so I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. Like I said, I want to hear your thoughts, feelings, comments, questions. Put them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.